there's some crazy man talking to himself standing on the corner. It's pretty funny. Hello America, my name is Matthew B. Moore and I'm here on a mission to keep you from renting crap. And today I want to talk about a good movie. I want to talk about Iron Sky. Now, this movie isn't uh, Oscar worthy, but it is a really cool, fun to watch action adventure sci-fi comedy. It's a sci-fi action adventure comedy. Let's break it down with the story synopsis really quick. Just imagine that in 1945, the remainder of the Nazi nation shipped off to the moon and built a base on the moon, and they've been living there since, well, you know, World War II. Now, just imagine that the year is 2018, and uh, our president is basically the equivalent of Sarah Palin. And Sarah Palin's not going to win the next election, so she comes up with this hype machine. The idea is to send a black man to the moon. It's called Black to the Moon. Anyway, so the black man and another man land on the moon, the other man gets killed, and the black man discovers this Nazi society on the dark side of the moon. And then after that point, hilariousness ensues. Imagine taking Mars Attacks, but do it with Nazis and make it entertaining. The cinematography is interesting. The look is interesting. The feel is interesting. The production design is on point for what it is, and the special effects for the amount of money I assume they had to spend are actually quite exceptional and original. Now, this idea, okay, you know, Nazis on the moon. All right, there's several camp-related things that of course you're going to experience while you're watching the film because they're in there. This is a camp movie. I heard somebody say it was stupid. Of course it's stupid. It's stupid funny, not stupid shitty. So, with that locked in, just remember this too. Uh, you know, you don't go into a movie like this with a serious mindset. You go into it like you would watch Commando. Maybe even, well, Com Commando's a good one. We'll just go with that. Because, you know, you never watch Commando going, oh, this is going to be serious. Because uh, <laughs> it just isn't. It's mostly ass. But fun ass. I will say this. On the whole, I thoroughly enjoyed myself pretty much from beginning to end. And the one thing, it's got this political finger that points at you world and says, you guys suck. Look at you, America. You suck. The whole world sucks. Everybody's being poopy. And, but they do this in a comedic way. And the end of the film is absolutely brilliant because they slap you back across the face with that social commentary and they're like, see, I told you, you suck and you know it. But anyway, with that aside, I have to give this the rewatchability fun show salute. So what better to do that with than say, some heads. Oh no, let's rock some heads, see what Oh yeah. You see, Iron Sky, it's not one of those movies where you, you put it in, you sit down there and you want to be moved. You just want to be entertained and laugh. You want the day to lighten up. And that's what I do with the talking heads, man, when I'm in a kind of lighty, bouncy, hee <laughs> kind of mood. I rock the heads. It just works like that. This film is the same way. You won't be disappointed. It's on Netflix. It's cheap. It's easy. What the hell, right? I mean, there's a lot of crap on there you could watch, or you could watch something that's actually fun, because it makes you sort of do this. Anyway, I don't want to kill myself behind the wheel. Rent Smart America. Enjoy this flick. Rock on. Just got a behind a semi here.